Welcome to Friday Night Card. I am making Peekaboo Farm, and there are a lot of cute ones out there. This one is going to kind of look like this, a little different, um, with little pop-up tabs here. And this one I made a Happy Birthday card. So we'll move on. Uh, what I did is just used a A7, so five by seven inch card as my base. And, um, and then I chose the blue from the lovely, um, oh, Subtles collection that's out. And I really do like it a lot. So that blue is nice. And then I took green. I have three shades of green here. But I made some grass and also cut. So these I cut with the basic border dies which are these, and I use that, this one, to cut the grass, it leaves a little stitch line, and it made rolling hills, which is, you know, perfect for grazing. So, I'm gonna put those on there like this, or something similar to that, and glue all that on in a second. And then I also made um, a double layer, so that's a little different, you don't see that, um, on the YouTube videos, I made it a double layer um, because before it was just too small of a fence. So you can see the difference. I made the layer bigger, I made more grass, I put texture on it, and that texture is the bark embossing folder, which I love, just love it. Um, and this one I put on a darker cardstock, gray. This one is on a very pale um, brown one and a safari basically and um, I kind of like it better so I made a card I actually did the whole video and everything and what I ended up doing is when I turned it on I was actually turning it off each time so that was that was a little pitiful mm -hmm. yeah pitiful and um, <laughs> it reminded me of when I went to um, can't think of the place I went to. Ireland. I went to Ireland with uh, my family. And my mom bought a new uh, video camera. And she bought one that was out of the box, so it had no instructions. And then we get there, and she asked me how to use it. And I tell her, I have no idea how to use her new video camera. And um, so, you know, I mean, she, we tried. Um, but what she did is she'd take the cap off, and then she would stop the camera um, and then she would put the cap back on and she would start the camera. So right as she's putting the cap back on, you'd see whatever little tiny thing there was, like a pub in Dublin or something, for just a second. And then it would, it would disappear, the cap would come on and you would hear crunching walking. So that's sort of what I did. I did a lot of blank videos of uh, doing this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, taping things. You could see me taping because I did that off camera. Well, guess what? Today it's going to be on camera because I don't want to goof it up. So this will probably be a longer video, and I know people come in and out on those longer videos. And that's okay. You can fast forward. Um, and just make sure to like the video if you're watching it because that really helps to get my YouTube videos out there. So if you like what you see me doing, please press that like button. And if you really like it, subscribe. Okay, so let's fold these back up again the way we want them without having them immediately stick to each other. So that one's gonna go down here, obviously. But this one has to go underneath it. Mm -hmm. See, it's wrong again. This one goes down here. Boy, this card is just like, it's just, it can't be made right for me. I have no idea what I'm doing. Didn't I just do this? Surely I just did this and did it right. Well, maybe not. You know, they're grassy hills. They can, they can go just the way we want them. So I'm gonna stick these two together first. See how much room I've got. I do need some room in the sky, so we can't get. <laughs> I 
I can't get too far ahead of myself. This is terrible. There's something about this card that just does not want me to make it. This card does not want to be made by me ever. It's just like not, not having any of it. Okay, there it is. Whew. That took a lot of brain power on my behalf. All right, and then we've got this. So I thought about cutting it shorter, but honestly, I kind of like it that way. So I'm gonna put um, a little bit of tape partially here, but not all the way to the top because I'm gonna slide the animals underneath. Now, I have made their hooves all sorts of ways. And uh, the first card, the hooves are sticking up here. And they're cute, but they, I don't know, they don't show up that much. So, kind of lost interest in it. Now, when you slide them under, that way you can still pop this guy up. And I, I think that's what I want to do, is to stick it in there and slide them under a little bit. So, I'm going to actually put the dimensionals behind. So the animals are popped up a little bit. And um, see how that works. Now, this horse, you might have seen the coloring. Um, I'm gonna show you how I colored them at the end. That way, if you don't wanna watch it, you don't have to. I might put the tiny dimensionals there to pop those up. That's actually not bad at all. Okay, let's go crazy with dimensionals. This cow is gonna be stuck on, she is one heifer. Okay, so I cut her feet out a little bit, you can see, or her hooves. I don't think they're called feet, Laura. You can tell I'm a city girl. Oh, that's cute. And it's actually cuter than this one. I don't know if you can see, but this is kind of unidimensional. This one really sticks up better. and. I think that's adorable. So that's that's the way I am loving this. I guess it was just as well that my card was a fail yesterday, or my videoing was a fail. And um, we just have to do it again today. So I do have a lot to tell you about the coloring. Now, this wall, so I stamped two layers. And then I did add in a few extra little spots, like this one, this one, this one, to kind of make it blend better. I used five different colors, because stone walls are different colors. So I used the light and dark crumb cake. I used the light and dark gray granite. And I used the light petal pink. And uh, the petal pink is uh, kind of came out that color. So it was good. It looked like a very light stone color. All right, so those are the colors I used on um, this, the stone. Now the animals, I used the light petal pink for the pig and the ears on the horse, so that pulls through. I used the dark petal pink. Now I used the pale papaya, the light pale papaya on the cow. And then I did paint um, with um, the Cajun craze color for my horse and put the light and dark crumb cake for his forelock. And then I took a little espresso that I had and just put that on there and made his hooves be espresso. The cow is light and dark gray granite and the dirt on the pig is the actual crumb cake. And this is uh, just the pink. Rococo Rose is what I use, but any pink is fine. So those are the colors. I will show you how I color if you really want to watch a longer video. Well, let's go on to the horse. So these little animals are kind of tricky to color. This one I use Cajun Craze. I do not have a Stampin' Blend for that. So this one I just opened up. And what I do is I take a little piece of acetate, just left over from something I buy, get some ink on it and then use the little brush that comes. Um, you can buy it, the blender pen. And I uh, pick up some of that ink. And this uh, works better than just taking it directly from the ink pad, which I've tried many times. And it leaves it pretty streaky if it comes directly. Probably should have blended that off a little bit, but we'll make this horse a really dark chestnut. 
<laughs> and I'm probably not going to go for perfection either here. This is going to be a toddler card, so they will not complain that their horsey was colored out of the line. In case you're hearing an echo, it's because my son and one of his friends have pushed me that I am now in my bathroom recording. Yes, it's come to this. I don't even have full use of my house anymore. So, <laughs> here I am. I'll go both ways. And try not to leave too many marks. Again, it's a little slower when you use the blender pen. And so tonight, when I order, I will be ordering a Cajun Craze pen for me. Stampin' Blends, because now I know I need one. I'm also gonna get that little set with the dogs. It uh, looks like it's a um, dachshund, because I have a Chihuini, which is a dachshund chihuahua blend, or blend mix. He kinda has a long body like that. So that one did the exact same technique. This one's a lot darker. <laughs> Who knows why? Anyway, there it is. And um, for the forelock, I think I'll use the light crumb cake and then go over it with dark crumb cake and espresso. So I'm putting all these on just so if someone really wants to learn how to do this, they can see this will, you know, be a longer video. And you can always fast forward through these parts. There's no rule that says you can't. All right, so that was the light crumb cake. Here's the dark crumb cake. So I'm just gonna put some highlights here in her hair. How cute. That was too thick. <laughs> and then I've got a little bit of this espresso because I'm just doing a little tiny bit of the stripe. I'm not going to worry about uh, it blending much, so I'm going to take it directly from the pad. And one thing I talked about earlier is you never want to go to the edge because it does bleed. And now you can see where it's bleeding up there. I'll probably just take this out and cover that up because Because it bothers me. So that helps a little bit. Let's put a little bit here. A little bit there. Cute. And then I can fill in the little feet because I do want them to be quite dark. So again, I'll just take them from the pad. I don't mind it being all dark. That's what I'm looking for. It doesn't run as much when it comes from the pad as from the Stampin' Blends. Okay. So I'll just use that dark crumb cake to close this up. Again, I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful this time so I won't go all the way to the edge. Crumb cake came very well inked. <laughs> so as you can see, I left a little line then it just kind of creeps and fills up there. And then I'm gonna use that pale pink, petal pink, light petal pink. And we're gonna color in his ears. And we have the horse. Now on the light petal pink, we're going to the pig. So he's the same thing. Shouldn't go all the way to the edge because this one will bleed out. It's a relatively new one as well. So we'll go around these edges. I like to have him be in a little bit of dirt because clean pigs, there's something wrong with that. It's not a happy pig. Might even smell good, who knows? 
So this is the light crumb cake. And then I'm going to do his nose and his feet really pink with the light Rococo Rose. And I'm going to color in the second set of feet, but that's it on this pig because those get cut out so they can stand up and be lifted up. All right, so that's the coloring, coloring in the crumb cake. You either need a blender pen or you need Cajun craze and a couple of light pinks. Now, the other thing I thought, well, the card's okay, but how can I make it cuter? I have put a little circle here um, and that's where I want to put on these little birds. And then, so I took off their feet. I wiped off their feet when I stamped them. Then I colored them in with a dark balmy blue and dark pale papaya. So I made little blue birds. And I thought they were cute. And then on this card, I put the musical notes underneath. So they're singing, you know, hello or happy birthday. On this card, I said happy birthday, which I like that a lot. Um, on today's card, I might put a different sentiment. There are a couple ways to do the um, cloud. This is one I just cut out, and you can tell, fail, definite fail, trash can, okay, bye-bye. Um, this one was cut out, as well as the one we're gonna use today, using, again, um, these border dies. And what I did was I would cut it, rotate it, cut it, rotate it, cut it, and just line them up each time I did it until I just made four cuts around it and made a very nice um, sparkly cloud. So that's what I did. It was a little bit more work, but I didn't have a giant cloud and I really wanted to do that giant stuff. So this is a cloud. I've already got some sticky on the back of it and we can just tape that on. So that's a cloud and then I can, maybe I have to put some more sticky. Um, and I can put, you know, hello there, which I think would be nice. I definitely need more sticky. So let's get hello there out of here and uh, stamp it. I'm just gonna use Memento because that's what I have right here. <laughs> and again, I have been banished to my bathroom, which is really pitiful because I use my whole house as a area to craft. I mean, it's a disaster. And you'd think I'd be able to just video, but no, my son and his friend are playing video games. Okay, these are little musical notes. So I'm gonna do a bunch of those under the birds. Maybe one over here too. Okay. So we've got our birds singing. We've got hello there. If I had some glue in my bathroom, which I don't, I would use that. So we're gonna just use tape. And then I'll go back, lightly erase those little marks. And I'll use the tape here for this. there on there and so that is the card now there's a fair bit of work that goes behind this and again a lot of it is the coloring so get those stamp and blends because those are the way to go with coloring on the inside it can be a happy birthday card it can be whatever you want um, if you want to make a comment on my YouTube um, I will mail this card out um, if I get somebody who makes a comment so I have two of them so hopefully I get a couple comments. Um, thanks for watching. Again, this is Stampin' Love with Laura Plattner. And um, 
If you don't have a demonstrator, please go ahead and select me as your Stamping Up demonstrator. If not, if you already have one, well, that's fine too, and enjoy making the cards.